Последнее время очень активно развивается технология VR. In recent times, VR technology, the virtual reality, is progressing very rapidly. Infrastructure is being created. Metaverse, special glasses, virtual businesses. What meaning, advantages and threats can this technology possess for magic and mages? What can we expect in the near future? Or is this technology an obvious instrument for enslaving consciousness? But there are, of course, pros and benefits of using it. Any technology is a technology of enslaving the consciousness, especially if one gets hung up on it. It's like a computer game. You start playing, and then three hours just flew by. Where did they go? Don't know. And then, next day, you want to repeat. And every day you are being drawn to it more and more. This is an entrapment of consciousness, as you precisely mentioned it, a formation of habit. And of course, a weak consciousness will be absorbed by the metaverse. This is, colleagues, the future, and it shouldn't be disregarded. But we together, while in the process of developing ourselves in a magical key, besides knowing that this is an inevitable future, should also know something else and should not be forgetting about this something else even for a minute. It is a provocation, a provocation for plebeianism, to escape into the metaverse, escape into virtual reality, get lost in it forever. This will be very convenient, and many will use it that way. One needs to possess a very strong willpower, not to follow the path of least resistance and live in a reality that was already written, created not by you, using its benefits and features, but not exerting any effort to give it a different shell, like this one for example, because that would be harder. This is a test. Since nowadays all of us are being tested on humanity, this too will be a test on humanity. It will be a different type of humanity, a test on passionarity, on the ability to act, on the ability not to betray life, not to exchange it for surrogates all some sorts of tests. Virtual reality will be exactly the same sort of test, but this doesn't mean that a colleague who is in the process of his own magical development must ignore this instrument completely. Of course not. Because virtual reality gives an opportunity for education, gives an opportunity for learning, and not to use it would be utmost stupidity, complete foolishness. There should be an option that appears within the consciousness that would allow you not to get hung up, not to be absorbed by the said phenomena. This very effect is well described in the book Labyrinth of Reflections by Luke Yanyanko. I highly recommend it. Even though it was written at the end of the 90s and it is quite simple and primitive from a technological point of view, but the principle itself, the actual principle of choice that was described there was described with great precision. And now we will work through this very principle of choice using our own algorithms, our own life. It will be a very cruel test, inhumane test, but if you pass it, then you will be able to go through a lot. Once again, the future, this type of future, is inevitable. But this doesn't mean that it's the only possible form of future and that it leaves you completely without a choice. Here it is a question of power. Who will make who their own instrument, you or the system? The one who makes the other its own instrument wins.